This is gonna be your best Listen. podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Epicurean. But OFC and pink lemonade's pretty damn good. It'll put your boat in the marsh. <laughs> Jesus did not die so you could eat yellow number five. <laughs> Excitable. The nose starts off gentle with noticeable sense of grain that takes shape in the form of fresh baked bread. Ma'am, you're in the wrong podcast. Educated ish. I have used the term overproof for so long um, without really knowing what it if it was. Yeah, it, because for is me, there a definition officially? Welcome to bitches and bourbon. We're live. Hello, Reba. Welcome to season three. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so you already know how it's going, but I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the world <laughs> and how it's going. Reba and I have been working all day to clean. Like the bitch barn needed like a no bullshit. Declutter, straightening, organizing. Yeah. In the, vacuuming. <laughs> in, in the military, we'd have called it a field day. <laughs> so since we started first thing this morning, there was no reason to take a shower. So now it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We're like, we have to record today. It's a great day to record. And so we're just sitting here disgusting. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad this is not video <laughs> because Lord Jesus, like it's bad. Yeah. It is so bad. We were quite productive though. It looks wonderful in here now. It does look really good. We got the butterflies up, um, did a better job of organizing all of my coffee cups. Uh, I am like the only person in my family that drinks coffee daily. <laughs> so the number of coffee mugs <laughs> I own is a little ridiculous <laughs> but that's okay that's okay they're all important I, one of my favorites is, and, and Reba pointed it out today I haven't seen it in a minute but um, I have one that says world's okayest mom <laughs> and I think that's really it's really one of my favorites yeah so season three is so exciting I know we said during the finale that we really wanted to start season three off with her and her legend <laughs> I can't find it yeah I think I bought it all but I think that's also why we haven't already done an episode for what we are doing today is because we were having such a hard time finding it. So, we finally get to do the Jack Daniels Gold. Yay! Yay! Um, so, without further ado, because we have been in a Jack Daniels Gold drought. It's yes. been months. Six? A year? Um, I mean, it's been at least six months. At least six months because we haven't had it since we've been recording. So, Correct. Yeah, so we, it's definitively not since December. Correct. So, and this is, I can go ahead and tell you, we already know we love it, so there's, there's no groundbreaking, oh my God, going on here. This is one of those bottles that we have been known when we could get it at a deal, we have been known to buy it by the case. It is the only alcohol that I have ever purchased by the case by the case yes. and it is it is one of the very few whiskeys that my tequila loving husband will go oh yeah let's do that yes like the, it's one of the very very few um so there was without even a night we did three bottles <laughs> well it wasn't just us <laughs> and on that note cheers cheers to be honest I was so excited to try again after trying all these other things you know that we've Venture down. Oh, how I've missed you. Yes. Let me count the ways. It so is, smooth. It is just, it's perfection. And I think what I really love about it is that it's a Jack Daniels product. Mm -hmm. So when you get, especially some of the new, I don't even know what to call the folks, or even the older ones that sit around and talk about what's good constitutes as good whiskey because mm -hmm. Jack Daniels is not a bourbon it is a whiskey correct um, but what constitutes a good whiskey and they're like Jack Daniels is shit like I'm not drinking anything from Jack Daniels and then first of all which is incorrect like Jack Black is a fine yes daily drinker and at, at, at the price point that it's at it's it's one of the leaders in its price point period correct period um, this Jack Gold is oh god I'm gonna drink some more of that. <laughs> yep. It's just so good. Yes. I, I mean I was surprised to see like there really aren't many 
great reviews on it. Uh, just, I mean, I guess it's just people's personal maybe, preference. Maybe our taste just sucks. Like, maybe we just don't know what the fuck we're talking about. I mean, <laughs> I don't care. Unless people are lying, like, everybody that we've introduced it to has enjoyed it. Yes, yes. And and, and, and there's a point where Reba and I disagree. Reba thinks this is the best Jack Daniels has out of the things that we've tried. And you like the Sinatra. I do. I really do. But that's yes. harder to find than the gold. Yes. So... But and I almost did. double the price. No. Um, I think 170 is usually the best well, yeah, price you can find. That's not double. No, it's not. Well, I guess it depends on how much you got the gold for. I mean, you can get the gold from anywhere from 76 to 120. Yeah, but if you're getting it 76, then you have to be at, like a military affiliated and doing that on post, yeah. right? Like you've got to be getting that from a class six store. Let's see. If you're talking about like... And 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 if and if you're military and you listen to our show, you already know that when we tell you prices, you can already do better at the classics. Like that's just that's just one of those things that they're already going to know. Fair price on Booze App for a Sinatra's two hundred one seventy. Fair price. What's the MSRP? One fifty five. Yeah. So that's what we right. Yeah. And then the MSRP. God, maybe it is double. Fuck yeah. I guess you're right. Shelf price one eighty nine. Yeah. Yeah, because like the Jack Daniels gold here, it says um, the fair price is ninety bucks, mm-hmm. and you said the fair price there is one fifty. Yep. All right, not quite double, but no, I guess fair it's, fair price. I mean, average is MSRP. Yes. average yeah. MSRP. Right. Well, yeah. Fuck me. I mean, I I didn't think it was that much more. Well, I mean, it's it's also more rare. Yes, I mean, it's it's harder to. I mean, not just harder to find, but they don't make as much. They don't. I mean, they don't produce as much of the. Sinatra either. And I will tell you, if you ever do run across a bottle of the Sinatra and if you're and if you're interested in crooners at all, like if, if that kind of music, if Frank Sinatra is anything that you've ever been interested in ever, go ahead and pick the bottle up. A, the whiskey's great. The story's awesome. Yeah. Yes. So it comes with a little booklet that discusses why Frank Sinatra got Are the last So we have we've purchased at least two bottles of Sinatra. The second bottle, that I know that the last bottle that we got did not have the booklet. It did. We lost it. Oh, I thought. No, we lost it because oh. I remember looking for it. And I'm like, it was just right here. Okay. I and thought it didn't have no, one. No, I think we lost it. <laughs> I well, think we were irresponsible. <laughs> what? I, I think it was bottle two. And so we weren't very. Yeah, that, that's probably true. We didn't treat it with the respect that we treated the first yeah. one with because we were like, oh, let's just get to the good stuff. Like. Yeah. We were like, just go, go, We already go. knew. Yeah, we already knew we wanted it. <laughs> Let's do it right now. And we, we had the original. <laughs> Correct. Absolutely. So I am going to be super honest. Um, I did zero research um, for this today's podcast. I did none. I have, I've, it's, it's Jack Daniels. It's Jack Daniels Gold. It's delicious. It has something to do with after they, after they age it in the charred oak barrels. Before they and then age they finish it. it then with the maple what do they do it's actually because i mean i only did a tiny bit of research right before we were getting ready to roll and i a new term was presented and it's called the lincoln county process and long story short they said it's a three to five day filtration process in which newly distilled jack daniels trickles drop by drop through 10 feet of densely packed sugar maple charcoal that happens before it is barreled to age nice okay and so and it was weird because like the name of it is it's the county that jack daniels originally was started in but now like they're not even in that county anymore because they're rezoning and one thing even said like i don't even know if that county still exists so that was interesting but yeah it was interesting to learn that process um you know about that the term and what it means but that happens before the aging jasper newton jack daniel was born in 1850 (laughs) okay this is funny are you ready Mm -hmm. this is hilarious according to the tennessee state library website in 2013 (laughs) okay records list jasper newton jack daniel's birthday as september 5th 1846 because on his tombstone where it says 1850 his mom died in 1847 
So unless there's some weird <laughs> Abraham Lincoln and the zombie killer <laughs> shit is going on, like somebody's got their dates all kind of hanky. Oh, wow. So anyhow, it is 80 proof. It is twice charcoal mellowed to be luxuriously smooth and extra matured in golden hued maple barrels for a rich warm finish. It is rich. It is what? Speaking of warm. Yeah. <laughs> can we do? All right. So what you may not know about me is I live in coastal Georgia for a reason. I love the heat. Like I love the summer. Summer is my favorite time of the year. Mm-hmm. Fall is my least favorite time of the year because it's the furthest I'm ever going to be away from summer. Um, I become a complete bitch in winter. And now some people can say I'm a complete bitch all year long. <laughs> but it's real in the winter. Like my husband is a saint. Whole other level. In the winter. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Today is disgusting. It is. And it's not the heat. It is like fucking pea soup out there. So there was a torrential downpour. Like the gates of heaven (laughs) opened up last night and dropped on my house. Mm -hmm. And then the hell sun has been out today. (laughs) And so now, like you might as well be in like a steam room out there. It's just disgusting. Yes. There's no interest at all. Like, I, I dread even just walking from here to the house because it just is it's so uncomfortable. It's so nasty. Like, I really second-guessed our decision to record today, right? Yeah. Because, like, the whiskey's going to make you warmer. Yes. And it's already disgusting outside. And I'm like, well, if I just drink enough of it, I won't care. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so a little bit of podcasting housekeeping. We are no longer on Facebook. We have decided that's not what we're going to do. We're tired of fighting with Facebook about the name. Yes, um, keep getting banned yeah, and blocked. And it's, and- it's stupid. It's dumb. So I'm done fighting with Facebook about the name. And the interesting thing is, and we're not talking politics, so don't turn us off. No. Um, we're not talking politics. But what I am going to say is with today's current political environment, and, and and we, like we are the shit that Facebook is like, oh my God, yes. maybe, maybe you're a little solicitous. That's, like, that's what they're trolling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, like this is what pisses you off. Yes. Like really? There's no, there's no threats being made. There's no harm. Like there, it, it blows me away all because of our name. It's it. Like they, they are the only platform that wouldn't even let us, like we had to, modify it you know using plus signs and yeah and then whenever bullshit and then whenever we post the link obviously our website bitches and you should go there it's kind of <laughs> cool we've done some work there um so whenever we post the link the name is obviously there and then boom flagged like it's like <sighs> i'm just not getting into it but y'all can find us everywhere else yeah and 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 here's the real truth like okay i did I was very frustrated at first, and then in order to, like, regain my chi, I had to, like, talk myself into some shit. So let me tell you what I've (laughs) talked myself into. Okay. And it was the same thing when I got banned on TikTok Live for 10 days because I smoked a cigarette. Like, you can be naked. (laughs) There's all kinds of things. You can be almost naked on TikTok. Like, you can smoke a whole cigar. We can chug booze out of a bottle. You can drive down. Just making a warning label. (laughs) Yeah. You can drive down the road while you're making a TikTok. Yes. And and all of that is okay. Mm -hmm. But if I smoke a cigarette, then oh my God. Like, we've done this horrendous thing. You thought you were going to be banned permanently for that shit. Mm. Algorithms are real and stupid. But so I've had to talk myself into some shit. Okay. Right? And here's what I've talked myself into. All right. When we were kids, my mom, if you came to her house, if you were a young man and you came to her house with your jeans sagging, mm-hmm. you had one. Like, she would give you one because you'd never been there before and you didn't know. Baby, glad you're here. Next time you come to my house, you have to have a belt on. And if they came back again and they didn't have a belt, they had to go. Like, they weren't welcome. They couldn't stay. Okay. Facebook is not my house. I don't own it. I didn't buy it. I don't pay for right. it. I didn't develop it. It is not my house. TikTok is not my house. Yes. So did some of the kids, obviously, we were kids. Did we think that was stupid? Yeah, we thought that was pretty dumb. Um, but it was my mother's house. Yes. And, and she, if you want to hang out bad enough, you're going to follow the rules. You'll follow the rules. Yes. And that's the shit I have taught. I am putting on a belt. <laughs> 
I have put on a belt. My shit's not sagging no more. And my more. shit's not sagging no more. <laughs> like, it's not a good look anyway, right? <laughs> so that is, that's where I am right now. I am comfortable with it. Right. And, and we have all the other things still. And another thing that it did was it really motivated us to get the website into a more developed. functional kind of way, right? Mm -hmm. So um, there is now, let me pull it up and so I can see, and so I can tell you all the things. You can interact a little bit more. Yeah, like it, it's much more user-friendly. There's more information on it. You can participate there. So if you go to the website now, there's a couple of things going on. And here's why I don't mind talking about the website. So don't turn us off. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we're not selling shit there. No. Like we're not asking you to subscribe to, uh, for money, right? Like there's no monthly thing. There's no special members only mm -hmm. section of the website. I, I will tell you that I did go ahead because we do the books with bitches and bourbon. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of books on there. I did go ahead and sign up with Amazon. So I'm an Amazon affiliate now. And so if you click through the links and you buy shit, Amazon's going to pay me a little bit of money. Probably not a lot. And I don't even know if it's a big deal. But it I, might buy us a bottle in a yeah, couple months. Right. Or a book. Yeah. Probably a book, book. faster. Yes. Probably a book <laughs> faster than it's going to buy us a bottle. But... Um, so there's so full disclosure those are affiliate links if you go there but if you go now the home page is going to look the same so the newest podcast of liquor is always going to be at the top okay um and and we might we might put the books with bitches and bourbon links up there but i don't think so i think we'll just leave it i think Sep the header kind of separate. yeah i think we'll leave the header just just the liquor um so the newest episode of the bottle is going to be up there. And then when you scroll down, you're going to see always first is going to be the books with bitches and bourbon because it's its own little category. Uh, and then you'll see the other episodes by seasons. And that's the way it's always been. And then the episodes where you can see all of them. And then we've added a what's bitchin' tag. Yes. And so this what's bitchin' tag is kind of like the blog section. And I am not going to be humble. When I thought of the what's bitchin for the tag for the yeah. blog, I was like, God, that's fucking brilliant. Like, yes. you're so, April, you're so smart. Like, that's so great. So, anywho, the what's bitchin is going to be the blog section of the website. And you can go on there and you can interact and leave comments and ask questions and all that kind of good stuff. And over next is going to be like, et cetera. And under there, you're going to have, is there a definition? And that's where we're going to discuss terms that we've talked about, like infinity bottle and non-cold filtered. Bottled and bond. Bottled, and those kinds of things will be there. Whiskey versus Correct. bourbon. And, yes. And then you're going to have bitch and bottles. Again, I, was, I felt so <laughs> witty this day. So bitch and bottles, that's going to be all of the bottles that bitches and bourbon have ever done. And then you're going to see books with bitches and bourbon. Same thing. You're going to see all the books that we've done there. So, yes, we've done work to the website. We, we figured we better make our house this is this is our house yes like, we bought this we paid for this we, paid we for maintain it. this we clean it it's ours so in our house we thought we should make our house what we wanted so that when we go to other people's house and have to function in some kind of way we do and it's fine I will tell you the funniest thing about being banned on TikTok like <laughs> like if you're on TikTok may I suggest getting banned just once <laughs> like like post a video like post a new tiktok and then get yourself banned because my analytics went through the fucking roof yeah it was ridiculous they were pimping <laughs> pimping that shit like crazy <laughs> like shit was going up by thousands of percents <laughs> yeah. i was banned one day with four thousand followers i came back to like almost eight thousand <laughs> followers like I come back to like a couple of thousand views. I come back to like a hundred thousand views. Yes. Like I don't even like I don't even know. It's I, it's crazy. It was crazy looking at those stats. While I am a marketing expert, I did not expect that. No, not at all. So I, and, and I don't know. Maybe it's a one off. I'm not going to try it again. Thank you very much. <laughs> now we know. But you are welcome to try it, and then I would be Give thrilled. Give us some feedback. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> let us know what you think. That'd be great. That'd be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> So Reba and I have done really well. We've uh, tried a couple of new things since we. Oh no, that's not what you want to talk about. That's not even what I want to talk about. What I do want to. I want to go back to the Jack Gold, because we still have not done the Uncle Nearest episode, and we got mm -hmm. those bottles back in February. Yes. And I don't know what. You know what I think it is. I thought about it. You know what I think I haven't like said. Hey, let's do that episode yet. 
I'm nervous I won't do it justice. Like Victoria Edie Butler, when we got to hang out with her, yes. like she was so amazing. Like she was so wonderful. She was so fantastic. Everything about the story was beautiful. Yes. It was an awesome experience. Oh, sorry. I'm just worried I won't do it justice. And so I, I kind of like, it's over there. I'm looking at the bottle right now. With the signature. It's actually signed <laughs> by Victoria Butler. Um, <coughs> I, 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 I'm just a little it, nervous. It's, it's one that we will prepare for ahead of time. Like a lot. Yeah. Like dissertation. Well, no, not no, dissertation. No, not dissertation. But, but I feel like it deserves you will, it. You will, have, you will have notes highlighted for you know what we want to make sure that we do talk about she was great yes all of it like was fantastic yeah got to hang out with sydney that was so much fun the root man if you guys haven't checked him out you absolutely positively should it was fantastic we need to get him on an episode yeah i know he's so busy i know good which is good for him i'm super happy but yeah yes it'd be fun to be able to and if you've noticed we've had a lot more guests on here recently yes so and we're trying we've got jimmy jimmy's hanging out he's been waiting forever is he the one we're doing the pin hook yeah he's been waiting forever to yeah, get on the to show get that scheduled i know and it's, it's just so like it gets complicated because yeah. because we all have pretty busy schedules and like reba and i were like what are you doing right now yeah <laughs> right now what are you doing let's record an episode hold on i gotta finish making dinner <laughs> and then i'm in yes Right? That happens. That, yes, ha- that happens does. pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. Happens pretty regularly. Yeah. We're like, can't imagine if we live further away. Oh my God. <laughs> this shit would never it happen. It would never work. <laughs> it would never work. We're actually looking for property right now. And the fact that we'll be apart like changes every. Like, well, where are they going to move? <laughs> <laughs> How big of a lot are you getting? <laughs> Is there going to be room for them? It's the bitches in bourbon compound. <laughs> yes. That would be fantastic. <laughs> in like in like twenty years, we'll be the old drunk biddies in the woods. <laughs> Kids will start making stories about us sitting up, sitting in the rocking chairs on the porch <sighs> doing a recording. <laughs> Not today, we wouldn't. No. Fuck that. No. <laughs> Not today. We'll start saying things like tarnation. <laughs> <laughs> tarnation was that. <laughs> I cracked Bless myself your little up. heart. I, you know, I, I, I can't tell you the number of times I say that negatively. Yeah, I know. I know that's the southern trope, right? That bless your heart always means you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I don't think it'll. I, yeah, no. But I will tell you, it is one of my benchmarks for trying to ascertain when somebody's talking to me about what they know about Southern life. Like if they say that bless your heart is always derogatory, I know they are not from around here. Yeah. Like, like you're just like regurgitating bullshit that you've already. Or, or you just assume from your, you know, um, fried green tomatoes experience yes. that like bless your heart is always. Yes. Fuck you. Like, yes. and it's not. It's no. really not. Like, sometimes, like, it's 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 just like, oh, my God, that sucks. Like, bless God, bless her. I'm so yes. sorry for you. Like, I think that's probably the, the way that I've heard it the most in the 10 years that I've been. All right. The, the, the guys have landed in Sarasota. Nice. So the men are gallivanting. That's actually yes. how it is. In our, we have a family calendar. And when Mike told me this is what he was going to do, that's how it's in the calendar. So Mike <laughs> gallivanting. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I don't know what else would you call it. Yeah, I, that's a, that that's exactly what they're doing. Because the two the two Hormesis guys couldn't go on the same day. on the same day. Yes. So there's a paintball tournament going down in Kissimmee. In Kissimmee, and so Mike wanted to take some of the some of the Hormesis kings to the thing. So he's going to go fly pick them up. Yes. But they couldn't go on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually turned out to be good because the plane is full both days, yes. right? So that actually kind of works that they're switching out seats. Who else going tomorrow? Uh, I think Yontosh is the one going tomorrow. Yontosh couldn't go today. I don't think my husband's going tomorrow. That's why I was wondering who else was going. Oh, is he not? I don't think so. I don't know for sure. Oh, I'm sure my husband has talked him into that already <laughs> during the course of the day. <laughs> Although the heat. Yes. He may no be, shade. He may be fucked that ish, right? Yeah, but if he stays here, he's probably going to go play paintball, and it's even 
Like, I can't imagine trying to play paintball right now and... Like, I don't see tomorrow being a whole lot different from today. No, it really is because everything is just so drenched. Yeah. In all the rain we've gotten. Yeah. This shit ain't drying up anytime soon. So, our season finale, we're talking about, like, SEC football and baseball. And now we're like, so what's the weather like? <laughs> you get everything here. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so Squirrel. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I was like, I had a thought, and you I, it ran off with your squirrel. <laughs> At least it's not a flattened squirrel. <laughs> oh, DIY tip that I learned today. So I'm trying to find out, like, where do I put things? Because while the bitch barn is very spacious, uh, it's, it's 12, 12 by 38, I think is what it is. So it's very spacious. But it's still... There's a lot of shit in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it functions. It does everything for me. Yes. It is my workout room. It is my reading room. It is my school room. Your it is my room. office. Yeah. Right? It's our podcast. So it's our bar. Like, so there's a lot of shit. Book club. Book club. <laughs> everything. Yes. Everything happens in here. So space is kind of at a premium. Um, so I have all these beer koozies that I had <laughs> yes. no idea. I have no idea what to do with them. Um, so I've just got them stacked up, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. And so Reba leaves to go get us lunch. God bless her. <laughs> um, big shout out to El Potro's in Richmond Hill. Like that shrimp quesadilla, like had double the amount of cheese in it today <laughs> than it's ever had before. It was like, delicious. It was all delicious. Yeah. If I was a dude, I would make some kind of jokes about it, but I'm not, so I won't. Um, but while she's gone, I have an epiphany. Uh, if you look at the picture from the podcast that shows the Jack Gold bottle and the drinks, you'll see that Jack Daniels Gold comes in a gold box. So we had one from before. So I took the gold box because it's got like a little magnetic clasp, clasp yeah. to it. So I took the gold box and I screwed it into one of the studs in the wall above the refrigerator. Yes. And that's where the beer koozies go. And they fit perfectly. It's, I have a I have a Jack Gold beer koozie <laughs> cabinet. For the longest and it's funny because like for the longest time, that's what we would compare a lot of bottles to of do we like this as much as Jack Gold? Would we pay, you know, price comparison, all that stuff? Because I mean, Jack Gold is probably Would you would you say that it's probably the bottle, the most expensive bottle that we bought consistently? Did that it was? Did I word that right? Yeah, absolutely did. But if you go back through our the annals of our history, mm -hmm. it was the first bottle that we bought when we started buying expensive bottles. Yes, because if you look over the history of our relationship, both of us are are in its significantly different financial situations yes. today than when we first started hanging we, out with our bottle of Jack Black. Right. <laughs> like, I mean, we're in, we're in significantly different yes. financial situations now um, because our husbands are just fucking fantastic and they take such good care of us. Um, and I kind of put that in there because that, there's a whole lot I want to say about that, but I'm not going to. I want to, though. Like, I appreciate them. Like, our dudes yes. work really fucking hard. Yes, they like, do. Like, they really do. Um, and, oh, it was so funny. We're in Key West, and it's me and Sheila and Dina, and we're hanging out. And Dina and I are mostly, I'm going to use the word, and I'm, I'm going to lose all of our female <laughs> listeners. I'm going to lose all of our female listeners. And But, no. I, but I mean, it, it was, I use the term, I'm like, that we're kept women, yeah. right? <laughs> The thing is, I've never seen two kept women that are so, like, patted on the ass and go watch my girl go, right? Yeah. I mean, so Kirk is a lot like Mike. Yes. He's like, she's amazing. She can do anything she wants to do and supports her in every single way. Um, and Mike is obviously the same way. But because we were talking about we were talking about the way our men spend money and how I don't fight with Mike about money ever like there's a lot of things I will fight with him about money right. is not one of them um, 
he knows what I need to pay the bills. Right. And I and if it's not in the bank, that's his problem, not my problem. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm not responsible for putting money in the bank. I'm not responsible. Like that's not my job. I'm yeah. responsible for making sure his underwear are clean. <laughs> yes. Right. That's what. And the I, bills are paid. I, I'm responsible for making sure the bills are paid, making sure his underwear are clean, like making sure he has two waters on the side of his bed when he wakes up in the morning. Like those are the things that I'm responsible to make sure the kids are in school and right. their grades are good and they're not in jail. Like. <laughs> That's what I'm responsible for. Mm-hmm. Money in the bank is not my responsibility. Right. And Sheila was like, I need to know how to get in on some of that. And I'm like, yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. I said, there's there's a level of auto- autonomy that you kind of give up. Yes. Right. When and, and I'm like, you are not you are not about that life. She's like, yeah, no. She says, if we go on vacation, Mark's putting us in a motel six and I'm not staying there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's fine. And but what I really love about it is we had such a great time. And it was it, it kind of harkened back to those things that you and I talk about all the time that people live their lives in so many different and a, a variety of ways. Mm-hmm. And that does not make us incompatible. Right? We can mm-hmm. all have like our own different opinions and what works for us in our houses may not work for you. Right. But that doesn't change the fact that you just can't go out and have a hell of a good time together and just appreciate. Correct. Because it was a whole lot of fun. Good. It was a whole lot of fun. But anyway, going back to, um, I think the Jack Gold was like the first three-digit bottle. It was, it, And it was bought for celebratory purposes. Correct. Like it wasn't just a, oh, look, this is a new thing. Yes. No, that, that, was, that was well before the husband was on the mission for what new bottle have we not tried? What new bottle have we not tried? Like this was, we've been drinking Jack Gold for, hmm, would you say three years? I would, I would. And if, if I'm not mistaken, the Jack Gold precursors the Hurradura, not the Hurradura, sorry, the Jack Gold precursors the Don Julio 1942. Um, I believe so. So I really do think, yeah. I really do think that the, the Jack Gold was the first three-digit bottle that we bought. Cause that, and that was before any of your year of the anything like that? Oh, absolutely. It, w- it was definitively yeah. before my Johnny Walker bottles. Yep. Definitively before. I thought, you were fixing, I thought you were fixing to drink that out the bottle. <laughs> the look you had on your face was like, out. we have already put it we've in. Already put it in the, we've already put it in the infinity bottle. Like, do what you want to do, girl. That's Drink it out the bottle. I don't care. It wouldn't be the first time. No, I, I do nor the you, last. I do have to tell you that this damn picture of me drinking the Penelope yes. out of the bottle in the bar is one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. It is awesome. <laughs> or I didn't take it, obviously. Right. Chuck took it. Um, but it, yeah. And it's really good and neat. Yes. I've I've even looked for ice. Yeah. I I, I just I really enjoy this bottle. Like I it I'd love to have this just like on hand for, you know, nightcap type scenarios and like it's not something that's gonna give you a heartburn. It's not something that's too spicy. What? You're so cute. <laughs> Like this bottle is ever gonna make it for a nightcap? I'm not talking about that specific <laughs> bottle. I'm just saying. I'm talking about any Jack Gold <laughs> bottle. I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked. Okay, I don't remember the last time that my husband and I have went through a whole bottle at our house by ourselves. So, it would work for at the house. All right. All right. All right. Deal. <laughs> We'll start a calendar. That, oh, I know. that one's actually been sitting on our counter unopened. Like, I'm impressed that I haven't touched it yet. Because That's how that Blanton's is. Yes. I but know. see, you don't touch this because you knew you wanted to come Correct. here and do it. I don't touch the Blanton's because I know your husband loves it. Yes. And so I'm not going to do it. But I've looked at it a couple of times. <laughs> I'm like, giddy up, little horsey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> but you have to understand that I'm not part of this Blanton's is the second yeah. coming of Christ crew. Yeah. And I don't think he is either. No. He just enjoys. Yes. Yeah. I am. This is what John Wick drinks. <laughs> Badass. Right. I'm like, John. It does w- taste good. It does taste good. But and, and John Wick drinks it. Yeah. John, I love John Wick. Who doesn't? Pacifists. <laughs> Pacifists don't love John Wick. <laughs> so how about my kid? The, the baby, even. We are watching John Wick again 
again. So she has seen it once, the first one. The first one. And so we're watching it again because we're fixing to watch the second one. But the kids, some of the kids had not seen the first one. So mm-hmm. we have to watch the first one before yes, we watch the second sure. one. So because she has seen it before, in order to make this movie interesting to herself, <laughs> she counts bodies. <laughs> and I don't... I don't realize what she's doing <laughs> for a minute, but like every, you see her go, four, five, 12. <laughs> and then finally I look at her and I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? She goes, tracking his body count. <laughs> oh, I love that. And I'm like, I'll make you an appointment in the morning. Like. I look at Mike. Do you I'm know like, what she got to? I, know, I think it was like seventy two. Oh, I don't remember. That's all. If she was, yeah, it may have been more than that. I don't yeah. remember. If she was over twenty one, I'd call her right now and ask her. Oh, but I can text her. There you go. I'll text her. Let's see if she remembers. I, oh my god, I, do I even want this in print? What I text my kid? Do you remember John Wick's body count? <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Not it's not that important. It's not it's that important. It's just entertaining. It is. But she was like, I'm tracking his body count. And I'm like, do you like the first one the best? Um, I like all of them, yeah. but there's there's something about the first one, and and I think the thing that I like about the first one isn't even a scene that John Wick is in. The thing that I really really like about the first one first there's the shower the story, yeah. But first there's the shower, and that John Wick is in that one, and then you get the big tattoo on the back, and that's really kind of that's I mean because then that had a very Boondock Saints yes feel to it yes, and I am Boondock Saints love Boondock Saints Fight Club. Mm-hmm. Shawshank, like those are movies I'm never turning off. Like when those movies yes. come on, oh, and of course, without Rocky, like any of them, even five, fuck you, I don't care. <laughs> even Rocky Five, I'm watching that one. Um, but so the the Boondock Saintsy feel is is pretty great. But yes, when the son, when the father realizes what the son has done, and the son thinks he hasn't done anything uh-huh. wrong, and he was like, like, do you know? Like, do you know what you've done? Like, do you know the hell that you've called? Yeah. I you watched no him. fucking idea. <laughs> with a pencil. Yes. Right? Like, yes. And so when he does. That whole story. Yes. So, I, I agree. So, yes. So there's something about that scene. Um, and and probably my intellectual brain kicks in a little bit because then I'm like, wow, like this is just such a great analogy for life in general where you go through and you think you are somebody and Mm -hmm. you just never know who other people are and maybe when you interact with people, you should consider that maybe you don't know them. You don't know what skeletons they have in their closet, literally or figuratively. (laughs) Or guns, Yes, in John Wick's case. You don't know what's in his basement, right? Like when he takes a sledgehammer to his floor, like maybe you're fucked. Yes. And and you just don't, like you don't... When you I, don't know what you don't know. When I first got into logistics, uh, and and when I mean got into logistics, I was a regional sales manager for a trucking company, so I dealt with truck drivers all the time. That was one of the like that was one of the things I would tell them, and then that's one of the things that they would say to other people about me. They're like, "Don't let the lipstick fool you, right. right? Like that's that's just not that's just not the one." So and. And then you have other people that, and when we go on TikTok and people are acting like dicks, yeah. Maybe they've had a bad day. Like maybe their mom just died. Like maybe their dog got run over. Like maybe we don't know why they're being an ass. Maybe they just learned that they killed John Wick's dog. Like I don't know. <laughs> the boogeyman is coming for me. Right. I don't. I don't know what they've gone through in their day. So I, you know, I just try to. I just try to like, cheers them and move the fuck on. Like I don't know. Yeah. So interesting enough, Jack Daniels does not publish like the nose and the taste and things like that for I think any of their bottles really so it was quite interesting looking at some of people's individual reviews on them right (laughs) of course you know maple maple of course is a huge one because they're it's aged in maple barrels but it was interesting like one of the comments is um, like on the nose Talking about a distinct banana aroma that gives it a strange, almost tiki-like bent. I don't know what the a hell. Tiki? I don't smell any banana. I don't know what tiki-like bent. I don't means. either. But I don't smell any banana at all. I don't understand what I don't understand what that is. 
Do you smell any banana? Banana? Banana. There it goes. Yeah. You're going to have to take a picture of that and post it in, on our... I'm going to have to do a video. Yeah. I'm going to have that. to do a video. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I'm sitting in the wrong seat, so I can't see it. It's just so pretty. So um, if you remember, at, at the top of the show, uh, we discussed that Reba and I have done all of these things to the bitch barn today. Uh, and one of the things is I bought a clock from Gail's Jewelers in Bugaloosa, Louisiana. And it is round, and it's not very big, and it's not super gaudy. But it's got it's got a brown frame, and I'll post a picture. I really need to post a video. Um, but it's Savorsky crystal and, like, little gold flecks and music notes and stuff. Um, so on the hour, it... It's, dances and sings. It dances. <laughs> like, that's the best way to yes. put it. The it plays numbers, music and dances. Yes, the clock face, the clock face separates into six pieces yes. and twirls around the face until it goes back to where it's supposed to be. It's very, it's very magical and the yes. music is beautiful and you've got the little Swavorsky crystal merry-go-round twirling at the bottom. And you want to watch it every time it starts. You do. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then before we started to record, Reba says, we might want to be mindful of that. And I'm like, fuck it. We're going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me so, it's just so beautiful. And to, I'll, I'll, I'll do the video. I'll do a video. It'll be great. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not smelling any of this raisin oh, bread. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cherries. I'm sorry. Why? Uh, because I got distracted. Because you said, "Do you smell bananas?" Oh, no, that's all right. And then I thought of a story about bananas. So we're at dinner. <laughs> so, so a couple of things happened. I thought about a story for bananas, and then the clock went off, and then I was like, whatever. Like I was lost. Maybe a little. Really? But no maraschino cherries because I don't like maraschino raisin cherries. Bread? Raisin bread. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Hot cross buns, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what episode was that? We should we should reference back. What was the Hot what, Cross Buns episode? Was it the... I don't know. I, was it the Glen Mirage? No, 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 no. It was way more recent than that. Hot Cross Buns. The great thing is, is about the website, I think that um, it'll search. It was the Red Breast 12. Was it? Yeah. Oh, so that's one of the great things about the website. Like, you can just go in there and hit search, yeah. and it'll pull it up. So so I'm not going to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Last five, ten minutes of the Red Breast 12 episode, Hot Cross Muns. It was fantastic. Um, so, no, we're at dinner, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to omit the names of the people to protect the guilty. Okay. Um, so we're at dinner. <laughs> And it's a celebratory dinner, so it's not inexpensive. So it's a it's a pretty nice place, and there's six of us, three couples. And so we're having dinner, and chaos has already ensued between one of the couples because she is being hilarious and at his expense, <laughs> and it's and he is handling it right. Like he's not he's not he's not a whipping dog, right? Yes. But it's still funny, yeah, right? Because he loves her, and he'll like, like he. It, it, it's like watching that cartoon where it's like, "What are you gonna do?" And it's like the little yappy dog, and yes. then the big dog Hopping is just like, and, yeah. "Yeah," and the big dog is like, "Whatever." It's like that. <laughs> so we've had dinner, we've had drinks, quite a few, I'm sure. <laughs> the waiter comes out and asks if we want any dessert. <laughs> uh oh. And so, of course. They're like, well, what are the desserts? Yeah. And he's like, well, we have this, 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 this. And then we have a bread pudding made with banana nut bread. To which she goes, how big is your banana? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, everybody's like, face, everybody's face like twists and tilts. And yeah, like, <laughs> like we're all like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> And How the, is that relevant? <laughs> and the guy, the guy just looks at her like he doesn't even know how to answer this question. <laughs> oh, my. And we're just like, what? what? <laughs> and then, and then on cue, the other, me and the other couple, we turn to each other, like to our significant others, right? And go, did she just say, how big is this? 
Like, <laughs> like we're trying to double check that. Like, we heard it correctly. Like maybe, like maybe, because I'd been day drinking, so I was drinking vodka soda. Uh-huh. And so maybe I'd had too many, so I had to go check with, <laughs> with my counterpart, and, and she had to check with her counterpart. And we're like, how big, is, how big is your banana? <laughs> and... <laughs> We're just like she's like what, <laughs> and she was she was completely she was completely nonplussed. She was like what, like what? Like, Did the what? answer make any difference? Yeah, like it's, it's banana know. nut bread. It's right, smushed. Right, there are no whole bananas. <laughs> I guess she wanted to know how big the banana was before it went in. I don't know. Oh my! And and I think. I think that we did not have dessert. Yeah, I'm sure. We did not have dessert. We were like, yeah, no, we're just, we need boxes and a check, please, because <laughs> obviously we need to go home now. <laughs> oh. Would you label this as being sweet? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and and it's interesting that I would label it sweet because I typically don't, don't like sweet. Yeah. But this is different. So in Ireland, that was one of the things that I noticed pretty quickly you would order a dessert and the dessert wasn't punch you in the face with sugar. Like it was a very delicate mm. flavor. And that's the kind of sweet that I associate with this. It's not like fireball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or even, or even like that frozen shit you brought. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the, po- I don't know if the podcast world knows that about you. I think only TikTok knows that about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your it's not trans- really, not really anything to know about me. It no, was that was a, a pretty fun. fucking big transgression. <laughs> Reba shows in my house with those fucking little frozen thingies that you buy at the convenience store. Because my husband was all excited about them. I'm like, okay. And you didn't punch him in the face and fix him. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm not advocating domestic violence. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so I was talking to a friend of ours today about she wants. She's thinking about starting a podcast and. <laughs> I went ahead and told her, I'm, and she was like, I'm really worried about scrutiny and, like, how other people are going to feel. And I'm like, then just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, just don't do it because you're going to say shit. It, it's going, even, even if it's not intended, there's still going to be a certain level of it. Like, regardless, because we just know that there are those people out there. Yes. So, like, it's inevitable. It doesn't matter what it's about. It doesn't, I mean, it just doesn't matter. There is going to be scrutiny yeah i literally think we could be on here and just recite our abcs over and over and over again and then people will be like well why aren't you doing that in a different language or why are something like what like why does your voice sound like that or you didn't pronounce your g right or like it's going to be something right it's going to be something yes so we're just like yeah whatever yeah you have a bigger obstacle to get through than just figuring out how to do a podcast Mm -hmm. and i i do i think that was solid advice right like i told her for sure if you don't have a strategy for dealing with people that come at you sideways, then, then that's really what you need to focus on before you even worry about equipment for podcasting. Right. Like how do you, how, how do you deal with people? And for me, for me, it's either, Oh yeah, well fuck you too. Or namaste. Right. Cause I'm a little namaste. I'm a little go fuck yourself. Right. Right. So, because like sometimes when people come at me, because Reba, they never come for Reba. So let's just go ahead and put that other out the, there. Other, other than the fact that I'm not showing myself. <laughs> but even that's like, like that's like fangirl shit, right? But like yeah. that's that's even. We want to see you. Please, can we see you? She's like she's like the Wizard of fucking Oz over here, <laughs> and I'm like the fucking scarecrow behind, dancing behind around. The curtain. <laughs> it is true. It's true. Reba's like the fucking Wizard of Oz. I'm like the goddamn scarecrow, like dancing around, being all stupid and shit. And I catch the shit, and Reba's like, <laughs> everybody else is like, Reba, we need Reba. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I'm here taking the, I'm here yes. taking the slings and arrows. Yes. <laughs> and you can have all of them. I love you. All right, yeah, no, 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 no. I think I'm going to, I think that's what I'm, 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 I'm going to go like on a, on a campaign. Give Reba shit. Hashtag give Reba shit. <laughs> like I need a, no, I don't need a break. I don't give a shit. I don't really care. I don't really care. Like I can count, I can count on one hand if my hand got caught in like a shredder <laughs> and I lost three fingers. <laughs> I could count on one hand, on that hand, how many people like hurt my feelings. <laughs> like by shit they say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like shit they say. I don't care. And now that's not to say I don't get reflective, right? Like almost anybody that says stuff about me, I'll stop and reflect and go, hey, 
there's is a there, misunderstanding or is there merit to it? Like, yeah. did I do but hurt my feelings? Right. I mean, yeah. you're not losing sleep over <laughs> comments. <No. laughs> Which, if I may toot my own horn, toot toot, is is a is a fairly new that like that's a that's a decade forty. Yes. April development because used to be, it wasn't like that. It used to be every fucking thing hurt my feelings. Like yeah. Everything. So that's a new life skill I've learned, and I wish it had not taken me 40-something years to do it, but whatever. We're here now. Yeah. I'm good with it. Life is so much better. I know you said it doesn't give you heartburn, and it doesn't. No, but I think it's lunch, because we've been doing that. We've both been doing that since before we opened this bottle. Yeah. I, <laughs> Mexican <laughs> food hurts so good. Can we yes. just talk about that? It really does. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> And I'll do it again. And like yes. I already know, and I'll still, I'll still do We're it still again. We're still going to order the same thing next time. <laughs> it's so funny because I don't know that I ever order anything that isn't the shrimp quesadilla. Yeah. There's two. There's two go tos that I'll usually do, and one of them is always a quesadilla. Oh, in their tacos, like I they do. Like their. Um, I mean, it's called different places at different restaurants, but it, it's like the chicken with like a chipotle sauce Mm -hmm. type and it usually comes like with wraps so i know that like people say that like literally literaturally speaking like ambrosia is the symbolic food of the gods but for me it's chipotle (laughs) like i think that's one of the best flavors like i love i do too like one, the bet we've talked about that before too. Like the best old fashioned I ever had had the Chipotle, Chipotle bitters. bitters. Yep. I just think Chipotle makes damn near everything I can think of, better. even sweet shit, even sweet shit, better. Yeah. I just love it. I, I just think it's it's one of the best flavors on the planet. But from El Potro's, I'll do. I like the shrimp quesadilla. I like the enchilada supreme, and because they their tacos are like street tacos, oh. so they're really really good. I don't know if I've tried. Them. Oh God, they're so good. They're so try them sometimes. Not as good as this jackal. <laughs> I'm so glad we finally got to do an episode Me on it. Me too. Me too. And on that note, I think it kind of... Did you find something? Are you going to read something for us? We don't have to. On the palate. <laughs> <laughs> a wave of caramel hits. Followed by a load of additional maple character. Spices, including nutmeg and cinnamon, arrived soon after, followed by waves of overripe fruit. <laughs> this is a very sweet whiskey, and it only gets stronger and stronger as it develops in the glass and on the tongue. Mm. The finish finds notes of milk chocolate and more of that banana character, here becoming almost candy-like. Okay, so I will say, I and, and I didn't, this is just quick math in my head. I would say 80% of that is what I see. Yeah. I don't, candy-like, and if it, if it ever got candy-like, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> no. Right? Yes. So that's, so I, I automatically know, boom, like yeah. that's out. I don't, I don't taste any chocolate character. No, no, I have no chocolate either. And. I mean, obviously maple is going to be the maple caramel type. That's, that's taste. I mean, that's what it's aged in. So It's I mean, Jack Daniels. Yeah. It's, it's damn near like their shtick. Right, yeah. so of course there's going to be that, um, but no. If it was candy ever, I would never. Yeah, we I agree. Drink we it. agree, sweet, but not like candy. No, not like candy. No, unless you're talking about maybe you're talking about Irish candy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Was that like a five second thunder roll? Yes. Like, is Garth Brooks fixing to bust <laughs> through my door? Rolls. Like, there's a semi the truck. There's strikes. a semi truck fixing to come through my house or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, I just got a lightning alert. Oh my god! Like that was crazy. I can't wait to listen to it back and see if it yeah. like picked up because what that like rattled like. Damn. It's still going. Oh my god! All right, we're that's leaving my, now. We're that's leaving now. The whole I gotta go find a bath. I gotta go find a bathtub and a mattress. Like, oh my god, we're all fixing to die now. What the hell? And it's all sunny and calm. Like, it's there's beautiful. no wind. Did you know? It was. I don't. I don't know if it was before I met you or after. Okay, <laughs> we hear you. You know what it is? 
God heard me. Yes. God listens to me far too closely. <laughs> He really does. And, and I believe that. God listens to me far too closely. And if I've taken up any of your God listening time, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but he listens to me super, super fucking close. Um, so I am petrified of weather. And you're going to overcome it. I am. I, I, weather completely disables me. I am, it, it's, it's, I've come to realize that it's not cute. It's a fault. Um, when we were in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the air show, there was a huge storm that rolled through, um, 60 mile an hour winds, hail, hail, like it was an, an airplane, the wind picked up an airplane and threw it across the field. Like this is the storm and we're in a tent. Yes. Right. So legit tent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, a, like a good tent. <laughs> I'll send you the link. Um, cause it's, <laughs> it's a pretty good tent. Um, but my husband spent 20 minutes holding up the windward side of the tent so the whole thing didn't collapse. And I did really well. I didn't cry. Um, I didn't lock up. I didn't freeze. I, I wasn't very productive, but I was like, if you need me, I'm right here. I can hear you because I'm shocked I could hear him mm -hmm. because that's just not the way I function. Shut down. Woodford, and, yeah. Woodford Reserve, thank you. Yeah. Like, because we, we had a bottle. We need to do an episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll do an episode and we'll give him very big props on that. Um, it is it's just still not going. Stop. <laughs> it is like my husband after he eats like ice cream. <laughs> like, this is what it sounds like outside <laughs> right now. That is so true. <laughs> it sounds like Mike after he eats a bowl of ice cream. Like it is go it goes longer than its break. It's it's, it's crazy. Yes. So that's when I realized that like I need to be able to be functional when shit hits like when shit gets bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I said that out loud last night mm -hmm. because we had the Savannah Bananas game. Yep. We left early because it was going Down to rain, poor. right? Um, and that's when I told Reba and Melissa that, like, this is not, like, I am going to over, at, at least become functional yes. with weather. And now, <laughs> <laughs> but what I appreciate is God waited till I got, like, two drinks in. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> He's like, all right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> She's chilled out. She's like two drinks in. We're like, we're like, all right, fine. If I, if she dies, she dies. Like I don't know. I don't know. At least she's got a good buzz. God, on Jack Gold. On Jack Gold. If you're gonna go out, hey, not a bad way to do it. No. Cheers, baby. Till the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with Ape and Reba on this episode of Bitches and Bourbon. Make sure to check out the links in the show notes and we look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, here's to bad bitches and good bourbon. Cheers.